Just thought I'd be a little different tonight and go for my hobbit hair. Oh, except for up here, but this is this is my hobbit hair wig. It's not really hobbit hair, but I got it and I'm like it looks like hobbit. <laughs> it looks like I'm a hobbit. Ah uh, yeah. Anyway, um just went on a really long, wonderful ride on my motorcycle and it felt really great. It's a good day. It's a beautiful day. I'm in a good mood. Ah, I rode down to the Colonial Pantry where I where I work and had a wonderful salad. It was very good. And uh, bought another fountain today for my downstairs. So now I have three fountains. Um, nice ones. It's it's good. Helping. And I was thinking as I was riding by that restaurant where uh, apparently it was considered okay for uh, one of the bartenders to do what he, well, whatever. What the fuck? I don't care. You know, it's like I was thinking it's, you know, he, he saw how depressed I was going through first the end of my marriage and then three years of living with a man that was his friend pretending to be my friend while I took care of him and yet he could and he saw how down it got me how incredibly down it got me that here I was trying my hardest to prove to myself and prove to everybody that I was a good person and I could be a good friend and and it was all for naught because this guy that I took care of was really just not even remotely my friend. He was just in it for what he could get out of me and be in. But this bartender seemed like a real nice guy and everybody likes Scott. He's like mega popular. And uh, what hurts me is the people that were my friends at this bar have all sided with him. Not one of them has stood up for me. Not one of them has even said, yeah, she she was treated like shit at this restaurant, you know. And I was thinking, when I was riding down the road, I was thinking, you know, passing this restaurant, well, it's funny, guys are, are different than women, I think. They give their loyalties for different reasons. And, you know, this bartender's real generous with, with giving away drinks. And, you know, free drinks is a, for, for guys who like to drink, that's a huge incentive to be, be like that one guy, um, Dave Hansen, when he was a regular, when I, when I complained about the fact that I had all the beer spilled on me and nobody even said they were sorry for it. Um, he said to me, it got back to him that I complained and he said, we're not talking to you anymore because you, you told on our boys. I mean, that was... That was the mentality. It's like, of course you would say that. You get more free, free drinks than anybody else at that bar. You know, of course you're gonna you're you're gonna go to the defense of this bartender who who gives you drinks on the house. You know, <laughs> I I I don't think it's that okay, that way with everybody, but definitely there's certain people there that were get. I don't know if it's still going on, but you know. And that's, that speaks loudly to guys, you know. It's still a boys club. Bars are still boys clubs. And uh, if you're a woman and you go to bars too much, they, I think they, they, it's a different, it's read differently. It's read in a different way. And so I guess I shouldn't have expected loyalty from guys. I mean, if they're going to come up, have to choose between standing by me a woman who doesn't have anything in common or with a guy who gives them free drinks of course they're gonna go with the guy you know with the bartender my friend Brian said you never want to cross your bartender it's like <laughs> it's like for religious for religious people it's like God is number one and then the bartender is the next one down because you know you don't have enough money you're poor, but you're an alcoholic and you need to feed your habit. Well, they'll, they'll give you drinks if you don't have any money. Saw it. I saw it happen. I can't even say how many times I saw it happen at that bar. 
Yeah. Which is sad because it's like, and then people like, like Tim Haley die from Hep C, you know? And it's a horrible way to go. Anyway, I'm trying to look at it like that. I'm trying to put it into perspective that it's not really that I wasn't good enough for them to be my friends and stand by me. I wasn't giving out freebies, you know. I wasn't speaking to something that was more important to them than a friend that was hurt. So, kind of helps to put it into perspective. So that's all. I don't know if I like this dark wig. I think I like the blonde wig better, but on the other hand, I kind of like looking like a hobbit, you know. I'd be a very big hobbit. I'm, I'm way too, way, I'd be like, <laughs> huge hobbit okay well anyway so that's all I've been I've been thinking a lot today and uh, this has been a video day I was hoping to get lots of videos of the osprey but every time I look out at the nest they're they're not doing anything so maybe tomorrow anyway that's all thank you for listening bye